everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with our next YouTube class. We're on YouTube number 143, and just like every other YouTube, this is a whopper of a YouTube. <laughs> we are bringing a ton of new product to you, one of them being the Spellbinders main attraction. There is new Simply Defined product. There is new Nuvo product by Tonic Studios. It's just a whopper. <laughs> I can't wait to show it all to you. It's This is a happy, pretty, fun YouTube, and I love everything that we're using. But before we get there, you know I have to announce winner, winner, chicken dinner, because you all are waiting to hear if it's you. Now, if it's not you, don't give up. <laughs> As we do more YouTubes, we get more followers. As we get more followers, we get more comments. So just hang tight. You eventually, hopefully, will hear your name if it is not today. Now, last week our YouTube was with the Deco Foils by ThermoWeb and the Nouveau Glue Pin and some Simply Defined product. And I was really happy with the fact that I didn't have to use a laminator to use foil. So there is two beautiful, beautiful prize packages waiting for two of you. And I think you're gonna do a happy dance when you get them in the mail. And I'm sure you wanna know if it's you. So without further ado, if you are Penny Kitts Miller. Penny Kitts Miller, you are our first winner, winner chicken dinner of today. Congratulations to you. And if you are Vicki Lee. Congratulations, Vicki. V-I-C-K-I-E, just in case there's any question. Vicki Lee, that is you, and you are a winner, winner, chicken dinner, and have also won a beautiful prize package from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now, update. Sonia, who handled all the winner, winner, chicken dinners before, is about ready to give birth any time now, and she has left Scrapbooking Made Simple for well, she's left. She may come back at some point, who knows, but for now she's going to be raising her her son and her new daughter that's about to arrive. So SMS girl Dale has taken over for her. So Dale is getting her bearings and is working through everything. Give her a little bit of time to, to get... <laughs> <laughs> to get accustomed to all things scrapbooking made simple. And um, I know she'll do her very, very best to get your prizes to you just as quickly as possible. And it's at all, it's very likely you may talk to her on the phone. So if you do talk to SMS girl, Dell, say hello and introduce yourself. She'll be thrilled to meet you. <laughs> all right, Penny and Vicki, how are you gonna claim your prizes? It's so simple, email us. Winner, W-I-N-N-E-R at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Winner, W-I-N-N-E-R at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Give us your name, address, telephone number. Tell us you are winner, winner, chicken dinner from YouTube number 143. And Dale will do her very best to get her prizes out to you or your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. But remember, she's getting her, she's, she's, she, she's, getting everything situated and making her space her space and learning all the, the do's and the don'ts of how to get things out to you. So be kind, be patient, and um, and if you need to, send an email or call, you never know, she might just pick up the phone and talk to you. <laughs> all right, so Peggy and, or Penny, Penny and Vicki, congratulations to you. Now today we have got, oh, how do you post a comment? How do you win? Easy peasy. You watch this YouTube and then you post your comment. You have to be a subscriber onto YouTube and then subscribe to the Scrapbooking Made Simple channel. And once you do that, you should be able to post a comment on this YouTube. And your comment can be anything that's kind. Once that uh, you've posted and I've read it and approved it, then you're eligible to be in the running for one of the prizes. Just be polite, be kind, be cheerful, be happy, be whatever, just be nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't want your mother to read your comment, then don't post it. <laughs> okay, I am going to tilt on down because we have just got so much for you. But I'm going to start with a sample that Yvette made, SMS Girl Yvette made. And it was a last minute sample and she just threw it together and her throw togethers are my 
oh my gosh, I wish I could have done this. She does a beautiful job and she's so talented. And like I said, this is this is her throw together card, which for me would be my spend five hours card. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna talk about the Spellbinder main attraction. We're gonna talk about new Simply Defined product. We're gonna talk about Nouveau Glitter and I've got lots to show you and lots to share with you. All right, you guys, me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Down we go, bye. All right, here we are, and here it is. This is Yvette's throw together card, right? I know. <laughs> it's like, uh huh, really? <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. She has used one of the New True Beauty dyes. This is my New True Beauty Pansy dye. She has used dotty paper, my dotty paper to back it. She even used, and I don't know if I can get a, a sheen. Oh, there we go. She even used my glimmer sheets to put the matting on there because it just looks so perfect. She colored gelatos onto Simply Defined paper, but you can use your gelatos on whatever card, white cardstock you have. And this is what she just threw together. <laughs> and I have to tell you, she was so proud of herself too. She was like, oh, this came out really nice. <laughs> so this is some of what we're gonna be showing you today. I'm gonna be showing you the new True Beauty and the new Reflections. Do you see this? Do you see this vinyl? I'm going to show you how to make your very own peel-offs using Reflections paper. I, I am so excited. So I'm going to put that off to the side for now. And I think I'm going to start with the Spellbinders main attraction. What is this thing? This thing is the brainchild of Debbie Adams from Spellbinders and we love it. It is so smart. I wish I had thought of it myself. This is how it comes packaged. This is what it looks like. It just sits on your desk and looks really cute. But what does it do? Well, let's say you have a whole bunch of little dies and you're working with them and you know, you've put a couple pieces of paper over the top of them and you know, you're not sure where they are. So easy peasy. This picks everything up. You just waft this right over your space and all the little dies, all the little wafer dies that you thought you couldn't find, you can now find. It's so simple. The magnet, really nice and strong, but not too strong. You know, it's not its not one, I certainly wouldn't put it um, on top of your cell phone or your computer, but I think everybody will be able to use this. It's easy to hold, so people with arthritis, this is a godsend, because now they're not trying to pick up their little dies that they can't get their fingers on. I, I get that, we have a customer, her name is Karen, don't be mad that I'm sharing, Karen, but she struggles with her hands, and I'm gonna give her one of these because she needs one of these. This will make her life so much easier. So I'm just gonna give her one because I know <laughs> that this will be a big help for her. Does it also pick up big dyes? Well, it, <laughs> it picks up everything. <laughs> At CHA, they were like throwing dyes from across the room and they were sticking. Let me get some of these off. Let's grab some of my big dies that we're gonna be playing with today. Absolutely, picked it all up. Oh my gosh, how nice is this? So if your dies have fallen on the carpet, if your dies have fallen in the trash, if you just can't find your dies, there you go. It'll find them for you. So you don't have to look, look, look. You just kind of waft this right over your space regardless if there's paper on top of it you waft it right over your carpet or in your trash and all of a sudden the dyes you couldn't find now are found or if you are using a set that comes with smaller dyes like this one comes with the little uh the little snail and you don't want to lose him this is a great place just to store them while you're working with a set and you just put them right on there, set that right there, and it's you, you, don't, you don't lose them. We are the very, very first in the country to have them. They are here, they are in stock, both in our retail and online store. They are $14.99, less 20% on a YouTube Yummy, and I, I honestly wish I had thought about this, because this is just a really smart idea. <laughs> it's just really smart. And Karen, I hope you enjoy yours, and I'm glad that somebody came up with something that you know, if you have arthritis or you struggle with your hands, you know, picking up the little pieces, the little dies off your table can be a challenge. Not anymore. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Way to go Spellbinders and way to go Debbie. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The next thing I want to show you is new from 
simply defined part of our reflections collection. Now our reflections collection is self-adhesive uh, vinyl -y type of stickers. They can be glittered. We've got glittered ones. We've got mirrored ones. They look great for cards. They look great for pro uh, your, your layouts or your altered art projects. But I wanted to do something that was just the basics. And that's what this collection is. It's just the basics, which means you can take any of your dies, your word dies, that you, you, you need to have something pretty to put on a card. You want to do a sentiment and you want to have it look like it's been embossed. This is the way to do it. It is a self-adhesive sticker. This is just the basics assortment. It comes with four sheets of the black, two sheets of the matte silver, two sheets of the white, which can be colored with, actually any of these three can be colored with any permanent marker. So you don't have to keep the silver silver and you don't have to keep the gold gold. Take a Bic or a Copic or uh, a Sharpie, die cut your word, color it, and now you've changed your word to whatever color you want it to be. This allows you to make your own peel-offs with the dies you own or your Cricut or your Silhouette. This gives you the opportunity and it is self-adhesive. Now I want to show you how to use it. And I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with just something really small and simple. So I've got my cute little small dies. There they all are. <laughs> and I think I'm going to start with the little snail. And you know what, we'll cut a word too because I wanna show you how simple it can be. I've got a piece right here. I'm just gonna cut it down. Put my little snail right on it. And I've got the word wishing. Uh, there's a wishing you sunshine is one of the sentiments, one of the dyes that you get. I'm gonna bring over my Big Shot machine because it is the machine of choice here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. I am working on a precision base plate today because the dies that I'm gonna show you today from True Beauty, while they may not look intricate, these are incredibly intricate dies and you do wanna use your precision base plate. I am on a magnetic platform. It is not recommended by Sizzix that you do it on a magnetic platform because there is a engineering possibility that you may crack one of the magnets in your magnetic platform. I have yet to do it. You you make your decision yourself if you don't want to do it on your magnetic platform then just do it on the multi-purpose platform that came with your machine just keep it remember that when you're using your multi-purpose platform you're going to keep all tabs closed because you're using a wafer die all tabs closed but again I'm using the magnetic platform and so far I haven't haven't heard it one bit so I know that there is a mathematical engineering possibility that I could but so far not yet, so I'm gonna just keep on going. I have got my brand new Just the Basics reflections down. I've got my two dies there. I've got a clear plate. I do not need a second clear plate because the, the precision base plate takes the place of your first clear plate that you would put down. And I'm gonna send it on through. Easy peasy, pull it off. Let's put these right back on my little spell binders and move to the side. So here's my little snail. All I have to do is pull the vinyl off and pull out my little inner piece which is sticking to me there we go and it's good to go now it's good to be put down a little bit of spit on the back so it doesn't stick so much to you a little bit of spit right on your fingers We'll let you move the sticker around. A Little bit of spit. Or if you don't like spit, you can use water. But it's sticky on the back and when you put just a little bit of spit on the back, it makes it so the sticker doesn't stick to you. It will still stick on the paper once you get it down. And now I have used one of my dies to make a peel off. 
Now, Hot Off the Press makes peel-offs. They're called Dazzles. Elizabeth Crafts makes peel-offs. We carry them. They're fabulous. But wouldn't it be nice to make your own peel-off out of your own dyes or your own silhouette, that self-adhesive, ready to go? I've got my word over here. Peel it right on up. See how sticky and clingy it is? Just a little bit of spit. You have spit with you every day. It's free. You can't spill it. <laughs> and what it does is it lets that, it lets that vinyl, it lets that sticky, so not so sticky to you. So we put spit on the back of all our peel-offs, even if we're using Elizabeth Crafts or Paper, uh, not paper wishes, I'm hot off the press. <laughs> They're dazzles. There we go. Easy peasy. That is how you use the new Just the Basics vinyl sheets. And again, these are just basic colors, so you can do whatever you want to do. If you were looking, we have lots of girls who look for the peel-offs and they want happy birthday, or they want happy anniversary, or they want Merry Christmas, or they want happy Easter. But after a while, you know, the peel-offs only come in so many fonts, but you may have dyes that are happy birthday in a different font. All you have to do is cut out a piece, die cut it, and you are good to go. Good to go. Now, I want to show you how to use them using one of my True Beauty dies. This is the Daisy. Love the Daisy. This is a little different than what we were doing here. Because these dies, even larger ones, do not have a frame around them. See how my dies have a frame around them? These I would not put onto my reflections paper and cut and try to peel up. Why? It's going to be difficult to keep that perfect rectangle a rectangle. You know, it's going to move a little bit. If I was only doing if I was only doing the flower, then I would be fine. If this and this weren't here, this piece here was not there and this was all I was die cutting, I absolutely could put it on there, peel it up, put a little spit on the back and get it down. But because I've got a frame around this die, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna grab a piece of uh, simply defined white paper and you can use any paper, any cardstock. I'm gonna cut this down to size. I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit. And then I am going to peel it and put it back it onto a piece of cardstock. So I'm start from the top. I've got my piece of cardstock here. I'm just going to lay that right onto my paper, press it down. and then just lay it down. So I've now put my vinyl straight onto a piece of white cardstock. Trim off the excess so it doesn't get sticky everywhere. Okay, now, now I can take my die and put it on there and die cut it out. Now it will keep the the structure of my rectangle. But again, if all I was doing was the flower, if I didn't have that top piece and all I was doing was the flower, I wouldn't have to back it to the to the cardstock. It would hold its shape just like my wishing did and just like my little snail did. It will absolutely hold its shape. So let's go ahead and let's die cut that. Bring over my machine. Again, if you're using your multi-purpose platform and it doesn't matter if it's the big one or the small one, just remember to keep it completely closed. No tabs open. If you're using your magnetic platform, you're doing it because you want to, knowing that Ellison Sizzix does not recommend it. 
I'm going to put my precision base plate down and you need a precision base plate. This is an intricate die. Line it up, send it on through. Little creaks and cracks are okay and the reason that creaked and cracked, the reason that creaked and cracked is because this has a straight edge on it this die here has a straight edge and I sent it through straight. Had I turned it at an angle, it would have taken this far corner under the roller first and it would not have, it would not have made quite the noise that you heard. If, if that bothers you, all you have to do is take and turn your die to a slight angle and it will not make that noise. See, is that better? <laughs> But because this die has because this die has a straight edge, it hit that roller and uh, and made made the noise. But if you don't like it, just turn it a little bit. If that noise worries you, it's not going to hurt your machine at all. I promise. So let's pop this guy out and let's see what we have. All my little pieces. And again, it is an intricate die. This does need a precision base plate. And you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't look so intricate. I understand. But do you see all of those really fine lines to give you the detail of the daisy? That is what's intricate. all our little bits and pieces out. It's hard for, uh, there we go. And I think we're about done. The little ones on the bottom. Okay. Phew! There we go. There's our daisy. Looks beautiful. You've made your own peel off. It's got the vinyl top which feels like an embossing. When you lay the vinyl down, when you lay the reflections down, it feels like you've actually stamped and embossed it and it's got that gorgeous high gloss finish. It's just lovely. Absolutely love it. But I want to use it with some Nouveau glitter and there's one color in particular that I love, love, love. They do have 12 new colors. Let me get rid of this. And see, I don't have to worry that I'm going to sweep up one of my little dies because it's right on my spellbinders. One time I threw away my, no my Noel from a Tim Holtz set. And God bless a, bu a bunch of you because you all emailed me saying it's in the trash. So I sent Mr. SMS and, and he found it in the trash. <laughs> Thank you. But now I don't have to worry about that because I have got my new tool, which I love. So I've got my pretty little, my pretty little die cut right out of my, ref, uh, my reflections, my black, looks gorgeous, but I want to do more with it. Now what can be done? Well, I want to make a card that looks similar to this. Now this gold glitter is also a new reflections and it's basic bling. It comes in gold and it comes in silver and it looks just like glitter paper, only there's no glitter. It, it, it has a foil to it or a, a, a vinyl to it and a high gloss finish, which means you can take a Copic marker or a Sharpie or a big pen and you could color the gold and change the gold to a red gold, you know, a red shimmery or a, a purple shimmery, but just lovely. So how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna take my Stacy tape I've got a five inch roll here of Stacy tape and I am going to, will that fit? I'm going to cover a piece of paper, cardstock with Stacy tape. 
Now Stacy Tape comes in, it's actually simply Define Tape, but it's been renamed Stacy Tape. Stacy Tape comes in uh, everything from 1 8 of an inch all the way up to a full 6 inches. This is a 5 inch roll. And I'm just going to put it right down on my white piece of paper. It is a double stick sticky, which means that this is sticky right now. It is super strong. It is user friendly. And it is more affordable than certainly a tape runner. It will hold everything from beads to glitter to ribbon to paper. It will hold chipboard. It will hold acetate. Today we're going to ask it to hold glitter. So I have put it straight on just to a piece of paper. Now you may have seen this technique before, but I want to show you the color of glitter that I am in love with from Tonic Nouveau. I'm going to expose my back. I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to keep that because we're going to use it. You never throw the top away. The liner, the liner is the only thing that doesn't stick to the sticky. So you can use the liner as a handle if you need to, but we're going to make a mask out of it. Now I've got my, my beautiful daisy that has been cut with just the basics reflections. I'm going to lay it right on the top. And then I'm going to use that liner to press it down. That way it's really stuck to the sticky, which is what we want it to do. We want it to really stick to the sticky. Now, could have I taken foil from last week and covered this with foil and then put my, my uh, daisy down? Sure, I could have. I would have had to have put adhesive on my daisy, but then I could have had a completely foiled background. Absolutely. This time, I'm going to use the Nouveau Glitter. Now this is not a microfine glitter. This is not. It is not microfine. They are coming out with a microfine glitter, I think, but this is not. It comes in 12 new colors. We showed it off at the Creative World. They're beautiful. I, I've got all 12 colors sitting here. They're absolutely gorgeous. I need to tell you a little secret about these. We ordered these. I'm going to tilt up just for a minute. We ordered these the first round of Nouveau before anybody else did. And they were still kind of working on the pricing for them. So they gave me a price of $6.99 retail. And we promoted it and we went out with it and we brought it in. Well, <laughs> turned out the actual retail that they settled on was $7.99. And since we have already been selling it at $6.99, I said, I can't adjust the price. I'm sorry. <laughs> I sold it at what you told me to. So they have held our price to $6.99, which means before we even put it on a YouTube yummy sale, it's already on sale. <laughs> it's already lower than everybody else's price because we were the first to place the order and they hadn't quite settled on what the retail should be for it yet. And so we have it at $6.99 on an everyday price. However, it's going to be on a YouTube Yummy, which means it's 20% off. So just a little, little something something about the Nouveau Glitter. <laughs> okay, so I have got my card stock with my Stacy tape on it. And certainly you could use Suk Wang tape, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with Suk Wang tape. We love it, we carried it for the longest time. But uh, the manufacturer came to me and said, what if I could give you something longer, stronger, better for less money, would you be interested? And that is how Simply Defined Adhesive came about. I'm able to give you something that's a little bit better than Suk Wang at a lower price than Suk Wang. So, um, so that's how Stacy Tape Simply Defined Adhesive came to be. But it's sticky. See, it's sticky right now. I have to do something to cover this sticky. I'm going to take the Ice White. It's Ice White. Yes, Ice White. I cannot read. Yes, Ice White. It's, the, it's my favorite color of the new 12 colors, the Ice White. Why is it my favorite color? Well, first off, it doesn't have a color. It doesn't, it's a, it's a translucent glitter. It's not completely opaque. 
and it's not completely transparent. It is a translucent glitter, but it doesn't have any undertone to it. Usually with our warm diamond or our cool diamond from Elizabeth Crafts, it has either a purpley blue undertone or a greenish orange undertone. This one doesn't have any undertone at all to it, which makes it look beautiful, but not overly blingy. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna dump it right down. So I'm gonna put it right across the top and then I'm gonna walk it on down. And I am, I'm a dumper. I have a card base here that has the score. You know, I've folded it on the score to act as my funnel so I can put the rest of it back. So I'm just gonna dump it down because it's almost all gonna go back in the bottle. So being that it doesn't have a color, an undertone, it gives this beautiful crystally effect. Can you then color on top of it? Yes. Does it give the same effect as a, as a microfine glitter? No. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So you can see that it's got glitter but it's not, it's not so blingy in your face. It's subtle and beautiful. And, and could you go in there with a Bic or a Sharpie and kind of color over the top to add color? Yes, you absolutely can. Is it one that you could add color and then use your Copic marker to draw the color out? No, absolutely not. This is not that glitter. Now I need to put the rest of this back and you can see you put it almost all back in. Just gonna put it right back in. And then you do want to give a little bit of a burnish, so you're going to take your finger, just your finger, and you're going to give a little bit of a rub, and that's going to set the glitter so that it doesn't come off all over the place when somebody opens their card or in your scrapbook or on your altered art piece. I love Ice White. It's so pretty. And it's such a usable color for not having any color. Okay, now my glitter is not gonna come off. It, see, look at that. Now it's gonna stay. So it's the, it, it, that's the tape working. It's the glitter that doesn't get all over the place. Isn't that quite lovely? And I just think the color is extraordinary because there isn't. It gives you that beautiful crystal look without being overly blingy in your face. And then you trim it down and do whatever you want with it. Absolutely. But because I used a rectangle shaped die that has a frame around it, it has a frame, you need to back the reflections onto paper. If I was just doing this piece right here, because the, the die is connected to the frame all the way around there, it wouldn't go cattywonkus and you wouldn't have to back it onto paper. So if you are using word dies or if you're using your Cricut or your Silhouette and you wanna cut your own words and finally be able to have them in a beautiful self-adhesive vinyl that looks like it's been embossed, it looks like you stamped it and threw embossing powder over the top of it, this is a wonderful option for you. Absolutely wonderful. We also have it in the Basic Bling. So this is the Basic Bling collection and it's the gold and the silver in really tiny glittery dots, really tiny glittery dots. That's what made that card there. So we took the gold, we cut it down to size, we backed it onto a piece of cardstock, and then we used one of the True Beauty dies to cut it and added it and then put it on the Stacy tape and added, added the, the glitter, the ice white. 
really easy, really easy to do. So let's let's see, do I have did I give myself enough room? I did. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cut this one really fast. Put that over there. We're gonna cut this one really fast. So I'm just gonna take it, peel it right off. Start it at the top, lay it onto my cardstock, get it down, and then peel it on down and lay it on down. Perfect! Ooh, just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. It might be a little short, but that's okay. You guys are good with that. Let's bring over my die cut machine, my Big Shot machine. I've got it on a precision base plate because yes, these dies are a precision die. Okay, so if you don't want to hear that sound, just turn it just a little bit, just angle it so that the straight line of the die doesn't hit the rollers all at the same time. Is that better? <laughs> but even if you did hit the rollers all at the same time, it's okay. Let's take a look on the back. See that it's cut. If you're worried that it hasn't cut all the way through, not a problem. Just rotate your die a different direction Put it back and send it on back through and the rollers will hit the die in a different way making sure that everything is cut. Okay now I would totally not throw this away because I could now take my little words and cut my little words out of that. I would so keep this piece because it's good. Don't throw it away yet. Oh, this looks kind of like Beauty and the Beast. Bell. Pop all of my pieces out. I should have had my little roller tool here from Sizzix to make this go a little faster. I can see it better from the back side, what needs to pop. Almost, hang with me. Almost one more. And bam, there we go. There's the rose. Looks good against the black. <laughs> so we've got the new basics. We've got the basic bling. And then we've got the basic colors in the black, the matte silver, the white, and the matte gold, and they look just beautiful. Now remember, I kept that piece of the top of the Stacy tape because that's important not to lose. Why is it important not to lose? Well, let's cut the rows one more time, only this time I'm going to use the top of that Stacy tape. So this was the piece that I peeled off to expose the sticky. That's the piece. I'm going to lay my rose right over the top. I'm going to send it on through. Where did I put my cutting plate? Right here. They need a, uh, well I should use a colored cutting plate then I would not lose it. it 
on it. Cutting plate. Send. Now it made that noise because I didn't turn it. And this is pretty much just going to all fall out. All the little bits and pieces because this is so thin they all just kind of fall on out there we go so what have I done with this I've made a mask what's a mask let me show you so I'm going to take another piece of Stacy tape I'm going to put it onto a piece of cardstock. And did you see that I just tore the Stacy tape? You absolutely can cut it, but because you can tear it, it makes it so much easier. You don't have to be fighting for a pair of scissors. I'm just going to trim off the sides where the Stacy tape went over. Throw those pieces away. Now I'm going to expose the sticky. And I know so many of you have seen this. I'm going to expose the sticky and put my mask down right onto the sticky. Remember, this is the only thing that won't stick to the sticky, so I'm making sure that that mask is down really good because I'm going to glitter it, and I don't want glitter to get underneath it. I want to keep those lines as sharp as I possibly can. So let's glitter it in, let's say, the purple. Let's use the light lavender that's new for 2016. This is a beautiful little color. Uh, I have no idea what it's called, but it's pretty. <laughs> I can't see it. The writing is so small. And I'm just going to dump it right over the top, just like I did before. And I'm going to let it walk itself on down. And fill in all the spaces where there might be exposed sticky. Take a dollar store makeup brush. Go to Target, go to uh, Walmart. This is from the Elf line. They're about a dollar. Don't spend any more than that, but you need one of these for a dollar. And that's what I've got. But we're not done. Let's go ahead and put this back. I'm going to put my lid on so I don't spill. I'm going to burnish with my finger. That way the glitter gets cemented down so it doesn't get all over the place. There we go. Now my glitter is not going to fall off and come off and get all over everybody's house or make a mess in your house. And then I'm going to peel that mask up. See where I'm at? I've got that. I could leave it like that if you wanted it like that, but I'm going to pull that mask up. Now, yes, if you wanted, you could certainly take your deco foil right now and lay that deco foil over that rose and have a foil glitter combination. You bet you could. <laughs> I, however, am going to take another glitter. Maybe the pink. And I'm going to glitter over the top of it again 
and where the exposed sticky is where that rose is in that outline the glitter is going to adhere well this is definitely Disney princess colors without question <laughs> Oh, I missed a piece of paper. There we go. That's going to need to be purple. Ooh, I missed a little piece of paper when I was peeling it up. Do you see I missed that little piece of paper? It got it was still stuck down. So that actually needs to be purple, which means I need to put my pink back away. And I need to run the purple over that. And you will see the glitters do not mix. Perfect! Look at that. Yay! Now again, this is not a microfine glitter. I need to put my lids on and then burnish. I needed my sand my little sanding pickup or my my glitter cleanup cloth dust it off and now you could trim the sides so that you have your perfect little card front or I mean how perfect is this for Disney oh my gosh if you're doing a princess page <laughs> beautiful is that so we two-toned with the glitter using the Stacy tape the nouveau glitter simply defined dies and stamps the new true beauty collection absolutely easy peasy can't get much easier than that and yes absolutely try it with a deco foil it will work you could have had a foiled slashed glittered background love it and we still have this piece left over that I could take and do a word out of and again because it doesn't have because if your die doesn't have that type of a frame around it you can absolutely use the reflections without any problem just as a sticker but remember to put spit on the back of it so it doesn't stick to your hands you want to put spit on the back of it and then you can make yourself a beautiful lovely sticker all right I want to show you some samples and I want to show you the product oh I really needed my glitter cleanup cloth I forgot to bring it upstairs with me glitter cleanup cloth we sell it it just covered it just picks up everything it's the most amazing little tack cloth ever love it and then to make sure I didn't lose my dies there's one there's the other. I <laughs> found them. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> I'm never going to have to look in the trash again. <laughs> All right. So we've got the Nouveau Ice White, which I think is just gorgeous. But then there's 12 colors total in the Nouveau that you can be using. You've got the new reflections in the basics you've got the new reflections in the basic bling colors and then you have got the fabulous tool from spellbinders um we've got so much to show you okay actually i think i'm going to show you the product first and then we're going to do samples so let's start with the dies all right so to begin with Let's start with the storyboards. You saw the rose. I worked with the rose today. And with the rose, you get the dies that say, wishing you sunshine. So you get the rose and wishing you sunshine. And then here is our bramble tree. Our true beauty charming is what we've called it because it looks like something you would see out of a, out of a forest in Disney. And with this one, you get the dies that say, let love grow. So there's our charming tree and our exquisite rose. Okay, so that's the first one. 
Then we have the pansy and our sentiments. So here's the pansy. Elena's done it in a couple different colors. You can see that it comes with the cute little ladybug. And then we have our sentiments. And our sentiments have the stamp and it has the die to die cut around them. And then we also gave you some cute little butterfly stamps. And the sentiments are, be your own kind of beautiful. May your day be as beautiful as a field of flowers. Some people, oh, I can't read these upside down. Some people like flowers, give pleasure just by being and the word enjoy. And you get the stamp and you get the die to die cut around it. So you can use the stamp by itself or you can use it with a die. We've also given you a get well soon stamp and a couple butterfly stamps in the sentiments. So that's the pansy and the sentiment. Then we have the tulips, which also come with all the butterflies, comes with all four butterflies on the tulips, and the daisy, which is absolutely my favorite. The daisy gives you, we gave you another little piece to put the center if you wanted to add a little, um, a little pop and have the center piece of the daisy and the little snail. So there's the daisy. The daisy just makes me happy. And the tulips. So that is all six sets. It comes in the bundle. If you buy the bundle, each set is $10 each. So for a total of it comes to $59.99 if you buy the entire bundle. Or if you just want the rose, or you just want the tulips, or you just want the daisy, they're $13.99 each, which is still an incredible buy. These are value price to keep crafting affordable, simply defined and simply refined. Those are my lines and I keep them priced so that if you only have $13, you can get yourself a beautiful die. Absolutely. You shouldn't be excluded from the crafting and scrapbooking and paper crafting industry because of your budget. You should be included. So we try to keep everything as price conscious as possible. So this is true beauty. Love true beauty. Then we have the new reflections sheets. And like I said, here's the reflections, the just the basics. And you're going to get four sheets of black, two sheets of white, gold and silver. And remember, the white, the gold, and the silver, you can take your Copic markers, your Sharpie markers, your Bic markers, any permanent colored ink, and you can go right over the top of them and color them. And then we have just the basics, the basic bling assortment, which is just the silver and the gold. And again, same thing, go over it with a Sharpie marker and you can take that gold to a beautiful pink or a lovely shade of purple. You can take the red into a, or the gold into a very warm red. They're beautiful and easy to use and they're $9.99 for, for each pack and each pack gives you 10 sheets. That's a buck a sheet. So there we have the Simply Defined product. I've got all of it over here. Holy smokes, I've got so much. <laughs> then we've got the Nouveau Glitter. And like I said, I have all the colors. Put some of the... I've got all... The new colors of Nouveau and there are 12. My favorite is absolutely the ice white and yes they are all on a YouTube yummy. You can do the eye, they're 20% off and there's an I want it all for the original colors of Nouveau glitter and then an I want it all for the 12 new colors and then there is open stock. So it doesn't matter how you buy it, it's going to be 20% off. So if you only want one color, it's 20% off. Or if you want all of them, it's 20% off. But these were released at Creative World in Germany when I was there. They're here, they're lovely. And the ice white, look at the ice white with the tulips and the basic bling. It's soft, it's subtle, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is the new Nouveau, all 12 colors. And then we have the Spellbinder main attraction tool, which is also on sale at 20% off. And if you have wafer dies, 
this is a tool for you. You absolutely are gonna want this. So I think that's almost what encompasses the YouTube Yummy. We'll have the dotty paper in there, but as you know, anything that's Simply Defined or Simply Refined, that's the lowest prices we can go. Now I wanna show you samples because we've got beautiful samples. Here's the tulip with the glitter as the tulips, the basic glitter and the ice white as the background. But here's the tulips in the matte silver. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful in the matte silver. So this is the matte silver reflection with the ice white. Then we have it in the matte gold and the ice white. This is all for the make and take that's going on right now. <laughs> the rose with the ice white and there's one of the butterflies that comes in the collection. And then the daisy. So lovely. So that's what everybody's working on right now because while you're watching this, we're doing a make and take downstairs. Now let's get to the girl samples. I'm gonna start with Elena. And Elena went a little bit outside her box. So do you know what dye she used for this one? You know what dye she used to do this? She used the Charming Trees. And she cut out all the bits in the center to form the face. Isn't she so clever? <laughs> I thought that was rock star. I'm like, that was really good. And then she did a spinner to where you've got all the different, all the different dyes. There's the pansy, there's the rose. She used graphic 45 paper. There's the trees, all the words, all the butterflies. There's the daisy. There's the tulips. And it just sits there on your desk and it looks pretty. Wouldn't that be a lovely gift to give somebody? It just looks pretty. It's a mini album on a little spinner. Love it. All right. Then I think we're going to move to Yvette. So Yvette put this one together using the white reflections. This is the white glossy reflections that makes it look like you've stamped it and embossed it with the Nouveau glitter on the back and dotty paper. How cute is this? Is this, doesn't this just say springtime? Oh my gosh, this is so darling. Absolutely darling. And she embossed and she die cut and all the little butterflies are in the collection. Yes, you're going to get all those butterflies. Lovely. And look at her pansies. And she did it. This is my glimmer paper on the back. This is glimmer paper. And she did it with the pansies. How beautiful are those? So talented. And this is SMS Girl Yvette. Then I think we're gonna do SMS Girl Michelle. And Michelle has put together one of the little daisy cards. And remember what I told you, it comes with that little centerpiece. She actually popped that little centerpiece up and put a little glitter behind it. So it's got an actual center that goes with the daisy. And look at the little snail. And she's done it right on dotty paper. Put it right on my dotty paper. And then here's her little, her mixed media. It's on canvas. Lovely, isn't it? That just colors are just beautiful. Just beautiful. And she used the stamp to stamp, put little, stamp the background to add some dimension to it. But again, all part of the Simply Defined True Beauty release. Okay, let's put that one over there. Let's bring out Kathy. This is SMS Girl Kathy. There's our Let Love Grow in the rose. Done with all dotty paper. Simply Defined dotty paper. Can you see the dots in the paper? That Simply Defined dotty paper we released. And here is her layout. Now, I have to tell you, Kathy has a son named Cody. This is Cody when he was a little boy. When I talk about SMS boys, 
Cody, who is now 17 and a senior in high school, works for me. <laughs> so mom and son both work at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Cody did not know that his mom did a layout <laughs> with some of his baby pictures. <laughs> She's, he's like, no, and I said, uh-huh, wait. <laughs> so there is Kathy's layout using the butterflies, wishing you sunshine, which comes with it, and the daisies. And you can see how she cut the extra frame off the daisy. The frame actually comes down and around. She cut it off so that it just has the daisy. Absolutely, you can do that. Next, let's go to Doris. And Doris, Doris really outdid herself. Doris has got, they, well, they're all beautiful samples. Doris did the rose and she decided to play with watercolor. Actually, it goes this way. Did she do the inside? Yes, and she stamped the inside. <laughs> See, Doris, I looked. <laughs> but that's doing a watercolor background with the rose right on top. Then she did the daisy. Is that beautiful? Anything on the inside? No, okay. But look at that sample. Is that simply gorgeous? There's Doris. Then she did the tulips. And she just painted in. She just used I don't know if she used gelatos or watercolors. I'm not sure what she used and it's not on the back but any color medium to just make it gorgeous and look so beautiful. Another one with the, there with the tulips. Bright and happy and springy and, and it makes your heart happy. Here's with the pansies. This is all Doris. Done with the pansies. I'm trying to hold them still. A couple of you commented that I moved too much, so I'm trying to hold them still and yet show you the detail. She's used the sentiment and she embossed with it and then die cut it out because it comes with the frame to go around it. And then this is her layout where she's used the roses and the Let Love Grow, and she's used dotty paper. And this is her daughter, Catherine, who is now a junior in college. <laughs> she used reflections for the roses. Can you see the gold, how it's the glittery gold, and she backed it in vellum? This is Doris's layout. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll go to Claire. I know lots of samples, but that's okay. They work hard on them and they do a beautiful job. Here's Claire's tulips. And again, she also colored in. And just beautiful. And she glittered the, the butterflies, which yes, absolutely come. Here's another one of her cards. There we go. Where she's used the basics reflection and the daisy and just made a beautiful colored card. She just she does the warm color so lovely. Here is her pansies. And she's glittered in the purple and the yellow on the pansy. Here is one of her mixed media and Claire, I don't know which way's up. I'm not I'm going this way. There we go. Here is her mixed media piece where she's alcohol inked. Gorgeous, isn't it? Wouldn't you love this in a frame on your desk? Absolutely gorgeous. Such talent. And last but not least, Claire, our wine connoisseur here, 
took a wine bottle. She was drinking, I guess it's a rosé. This is the actual label on the bottle. That's the only thing that didn't get painted over. And when she saw that and she saw my rose, she said, oh, I have to do this. Look at the wine bottle. Is that fabulous? What a cute gift. What a cute little piece of decoration for your house. Is that just darling? And she just took acrylic paint and painted the bottle and then started to decorate and use the rose. Super cute. So that's Claire. And then the last we have to show you is Belinda. And I'm gonna start with Belinda's bonnet. You wanna talk about spring. How darling is this? It's an actual bonnet that she decorated to make the cutest little door wreath ready for spring. She used the tulips, she used the pansies, she used the butterflies. Just darling, she used some of the older dyes that we did. I love, love Belinda for that. Is it so pretty? And this you just hang on your door and make happy. And then Belinda's last but not least, When I saw this, my mind was blown because she she's able to see things in a way that I just can't. To envision the daisies as the eyes on her mixed media piece is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And then she went in and she she added more with the more of the the, the lines to make the eyelashes with the glitter. I think she used uh, she used glimmer sheets to do that. And then you've got the center and the rose for the lips and then butterfly for the nose. This is a stunner of a piece. She's just so good at that. <laughs> so this is Belinda. All right. Okay, you guys, so that's it for today. I hope you loved absolutely everything. I hope that the being able to make your own peel-offs now is exciting for you. It's exciting for me. I hope you love the fresh and, I'm gonna tilt up. I hope you love the fresh and happiness of true beauty and that the daisies and the pansies and the tulips and the rose just speak to you. I love the bramble, I love the tree, I love it all. I hope you did too. The Spellbinder tool, you don't want to not have that. You have to have it. It's like a need. It's not a want. It's a need. If you do anything with wafer dyes, it's a need. And then the beautiful new colors of glitter from Nouveau, especially that ice white that gives you a glitter look without it being glitter. <laughs> so it is me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Where are you going to find all of this great stuff? Well, scrapbookingmadesimple.com or come visit us in our retail store. I would absolutely love to meet you. Come visit us. All right, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next time. And don't forget to post your comments so you two can be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, just like Penny and Vicky. There are your names. Congratulations, girls. Okay, it's me, Stacy. I'll see you next time. Bye.